We've heard from both Joe Torrey and Gene Afterman about George Steinbrenner not getting in on Sunday night's vote from the Today's Game Era committee. It's hard to argue with her logic that he did have a huge impact in the game. Right, Bob. You look at George Steinbrenner's career as an owner, the seven World Series championships, the fact that he embraced free agency early and that he was smart enough to use that at his advantage. Where we're sitting right now on the Yes Network, what he did in terms of regional sports networks and television coverage, there's his resume right there. Congratulations to Harold Baines and Lee Smith. I'm not looking to criticize them, but I will say this. If you're talking about impact within the sport, who had a greater impact, George Steinbrenner or the two players who were voted in? I think people around baseball will tell you that Steinbrenner and what he did as an owner had a greater impact. Well, there's no doubt. And I wanted to ask Gene Afterman about what it was like to work for the man because I think we know, or I know as a player, he did everything that he could do to give you a chance to win a championship. But you've heard so many stories about people who work for him and that maybe it wasn't the most pleasant experience. So I love Gene's answer about he was a tough guy to work for, but if you were prepared, you were going to get to the next level. So I think everybody around the Yankee organization feels like he should have been voted to the Hall of Fame by this committee. It didn't happen, so you wonder what those conversations were like in the room. And unfortunately, we're never going to know that. There are 16 members in that committee. He needed 75% approval, and he didn't even get five votes. And you wonder if the names were out there publicly and you knew the discussion that was taking place, would the vote be different? Would people feel differently if they had to put a name to a vote? But it's hard to argue with his resume. Jack, you mentioned it's seven championships that he should not be in that Hall of Fame. I mean, you have to talk impact when you're talking about a Hall of Famer. And who had more of an impact, whether you loved him or you hated him? This right here changed the face of baseball, starting the Yes Network. Before that, the deal that he got with MSG changed the way teams did business. The team's valuation skyrocketed because of what George Steinbrenner did with the Yankees. That's number one. Number two, with this new era committee, it's ridiculous that Harold Baines was taken off the, the writer's ballot after five years because he didn't get the requisite 5%. So what you've done with this 16-man pa man panel is you repudiated everything that the writers believe in, that everything the writers hold sacrosanct on getting a guy into the Hall of Fame no longer counts because 16 people could wipe that away. I think that's laughable. Now, since he's in... You've got to look at Don Mattingly. You've got to look at Keith Hernandez. You've got to look at Thurman Munson. This opens the doors for guys like that because you put those numbers against Harold Baines's numbers, and I'm sorry, they belong in before him. And by the way, what Meredith said is true. This is proprietary information. They don't want to talk about what happened in those meetings, but I did speak to one voting member, and one of the phrases that kept getting mentioned with Harold Baines was, wow. He was such a good guy. He's a really good guy. And that's concerning to me. I mean, here's a guy who on that committee, former manager, former owner, one of his former teammates. And again, he put up some really nice numbers, but I think he would fall under the heading as someone who has a Hall of Fame vote, not in this committee, obviously. I vote with the BBWAA. He falls under the heading of me as a compiler. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you, will this change your vote coming up on the next year's class? Edgar Martinez has been a guy who has been close. Harold Baines, a DH type, Edgar Martinez. Will that decision to let him in sway your vote? I have an easy answer because I've been voting for Edgar Martinez anyway, and okay. it's his final year on the ballot, and I think he will get in at over 70%. But as I said to Bob during one of the breaks, it's two different voting blocks. There are a lot of people who want to blame the baseball writers for this right here, the fact that Baines got in ahead of Martinez. It's a 16-member committee, as we've talked about, and they don't have to say who they voted for. I will tell you one thing that, uh, that heartens me, what Jack said. Baines, you know, a lot of people say, well, he's a nice guy. Then I'm eligible. I'm a nice guy. I should go into the next Wait, class. Wait, let's take a I'm vote. A nice right, guy. Let's take a vote. We have a, a four-person panel over here, Mike, and we're ready to talk about it. But